Looks like fun. You make a good team. Oh, it's hot. Shall we swim? Oh, oh, there are too many waves. It's too dangerous, even with arm floats. I know. Do you know what would be fun? Building a pool in the sand. <laughs> it's really easy. We just have to dig a hole and then fill it with water. Groovy, transform into an excavator. That's it. First, we need to dig a hole really deep. Exactly. Fill the hole with water. <laughs> if you splash the water out, you'll have to fill the pool again. Enjoy! What a beautiful day to play at the beach. No, Groovy, you can't just leave the waste there. Even if it's not yours, you should throw it into the container. The beach is full of garbage. We can't allow it, children. We should do something. Right, Pops? Our planet is in danger because humans won't stop polluting. Garbage can't be thrown anywhere. It must be thrown into the container. Also, we must recycle, throwing each bottle into their container green bottles inside the green container, blue bottles inside the blue container, and red ones inside the red container. Come on, children, let's recycle all together. In which container should these bottles be thrown? Really good, Phoebe. Well done. The blue bottle goes inside the blue container. No, Groovy. The red bottle doesn't go inside the blue container. In which one, children? Exactly. Inside the red one. I have an idea to clean the beach. Why don't we have a competition between Phoebe and Groovy to see who is faster picking up bottles? Do you accept the challenge? The game is very easy. There are five bottles in each field. Phoebe and Groovy have to collect and recycle them correctly. Understood? Ready, set, go. The two players get the bottle. Phoebe dunks her own correctly, but Groovy fails. Oh no, you have to pick it up again. Phoebe takes the lead ahead of Groovy, who has now correctly slammed his bottle. Oh! 
Phoebe goes for her third bottle, while Groovy goes for the second. It seems that the game is decided. Phoebe is going to win unless Groovy does something. Unbelievable! Groovy transforms into an octopus and advances positions. The game is not decided yet. The game is very even. Both players are going to dunk their last bottles, and the result is... Draw! Actually, we have all won, because the beach has been cleaned. Thanks, kids! Oh, a giant wave! What's up? The wave has left the beach full of bottles again! Children, we have a problem, a really big one. The sea is full of bottles, too. What can we do to collect them? Can you think of something? I know! Groovy can help us! What should Groovy transform into to collect the bottles? Pencil? A boat? Or a ball? That's it! Groovy should transform into a boat to collect the bottles. Come on, kids! Let's fish these bottles. Wow! The beach looks beautiful! Now that it's clean, we can continue enjoying this wonderful day. What a great idea! Celebrate it with fresh fruit juice! But kids, what do we have to do when it's finished? Exactly! Recycle them! Very well! You have learned the lesson! The trash always to its container! It's a beautiful day to play at the beach! Look! That little girl wants to play too! Why don't you throw her the ball? The more we are, the more fun we'll have! Huh? She stole the ball! not a girl. She's a mermaid. Phoebe, where did she go? We'll have to use the GPS. Groovy! Good morning, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen a little mermaid with a ball? Hey, Mr. Swordfish, haven't you seen a little mermaid by any chance? <laughs> Miss Jellyfish, have you seen a mermaid swimming around here? No? Sharks! It would be better if you just run! I'm sure that if we try to talk to them, does someone speak shark? No? And whale? <laughs> nice try. But I think it didn't work. We are safe by the skin of my teeth, thanks to this friendly family of sharks and their three delightful fried rice. Friends, sharks, we are looking for the mermaid who took our ball. Do you know her? 
They do. Let's follow them. This is an authentic Spanish galleon. It sank centuries ago. Maybe there's a, a treasure. Whoa! Look, children, there she is, the little mermaid. And she keeps her own treasures. Yes, Phoebe, that's our ball. But she's not giving it back to us. For her, that ball is a treasure. What if she keeps it and gives us this luxury collars in return? Everyone happy. Although the best thing about having a ball is to play with your friends. <laughs> what an aquatic adventure we live today. And we've learned that what for one is not important at all, for others is a precious treasure. I love diving. It's very fun and you can discover a beautiful world underwater. Look how many fishes. Look, a starfish. It's beautiful. <laughs> Phoebe, are you looking for mermaids again? Mermaids? Mm, not sure. But there are lots of crabs at the seabed. Phoebe, mermaids don't ig... What? What is it? A mermaid? A shark! Wait, it's a baby shark! Where are his parents? Don't worry, we'll help you find them. Submarine mission, finding the shark family. Wow, a clownfish. Let's ask him. He's with a surgeon fish and a turtle. Haha, <laughs> like in Finding Nemo movie. They may know something. Dory, have you seen any shark? What a great idea, Groovy. If you transform into aquatic animals, you'll be able to move underwater more easily. Well, not always. <laughs> Seahorses aren't really agile. We're learning a lot of animals today. Let's ask him if he's seen your family, baby shark. Excuse me, Mr. Seahorse. Have you seen any shark? Miss Dolphin, did you see a shark? Mr. Swordfish? Jellyfish? Whale? No, don't worry. Fish have a really bad memory. I'm sure someone has seen them, but can't remember it. We'll have to look for clues. Look, is that a fishing net? Hmm. They seem scared. Let's go and check. Baby shark, your parents. Oh no, we have to hurry. You'll have to cut the fishing net faster. Good job, kids. Yeah. Do you remember the name of all the animals we learned today? Yes, starfish. Crab, really good. Yes, clownfish, like Nemo and his dad. 
Great surgeon fish. Sea turtle, they can live more than 100 years. Seahorse, what a beauty. Jellyfish, careful with them. The intelligent dolphin. Whale, huge. Shark, how scary. Let's take care of the ocean so they can all live happily. Oh, are you going to the beach? That's awesome. What are you carrying in there? An umbrella? A towel? Sun cream? Armpans? Toys? A float? Very well. You definitely have everything you need to have a great day at the beach. Broccoli? Radiator? A coat? Groovy? You don't need these things at the beach. No, Groovy. You first need to use the sun cream. You don't want to get sunburned, do you? Look, like Phoebe does. Oh, that looks like fun. What's that? A shark? Oh, it was a dolphin. Dolphins are really friendly. Why don't you play with him? Hey guys, I think someone is calling you. <laughs> Phoebe, your ladybug costume is super cool. Ah, Groovy, your cat noir one is awesome too. Wait, why is the park so dirty? People should use the litter bins. That's it. Phoebe, great idea. Superhero's mission, clean the park. Really good, kids. It's sad that people throw trash on the floor and the water. Let's do our bit. Each bottle we collect, it'll be a bottle less in the river. And then we recycle them. Hmm, a little more. Almost. Careful, Phoebe. No. Groovy, help her. Cristiano! Ha <laughs> ha! Well done, Groovy! Now, children, you have to be more careful. Don't worry, I have an idea. Come, Groovy, let's take advantage of the fact that everyone believes you are Cristiano. Kids, listen. Cristiano Ronaldo's going to teach you not to throw rubbish on the ground. You must recycle. We can't throw rubbish on the ground, but deposit our rubbish in the corresponding containers. Will you help us to clean the park then?
beautiful. Thank you all, kids. Every country organizes recycling in a different way. Ask your parents how you should do it. And try it like it's a game. Very good, kids. There's nothing better than a great breakfast to start the day. Right, Groovy? He has eaten his and Phoebe's. Time to go. Phoebe is so hooked on her new mystery book that in the end, she will be late to school. When you are in a hurry, the best is the tricycle. No traffic jam, no contamination, and you do some sport. Oh no, you got a flat tire and we are in a hurry. Who could have been? Good idea, Phoebe. This is a mystery for a super detective. Groovy, Phoebe needs a magnifying glass. Help her. This is a case for Phoebe Holmes and Dr. Groovy. Today, in the flat tire mystery. What a hole! To find the guilty, the first to do is look for clues. What do we have here? Hmm, three clues. First one seems like a dog footprint. Second one, a human footprint. And third, a bird footprint. Where should we start? First one. There we go. Number one clue, dog's footprints. Careful, Phoebe. That mutt looks suspicious. Let's question him. Groovy, transform into a dog and take his bone. Mr. Dog, do you know something about the flat tire of this girl's tricycle? The dog is not guilty. He has an alibi. He is chained. Poor dog, he couldn't leave his garden. It's really late. Let's hurry up. First clue wasn't good. Let's continue with the second one. Second clue, human's footprint. Another false clue. These are Phoebe's footprints on her way from home. Third clue, bird's footprints. Mystery solved. It has been this woodpecker that has pierced the wheel with its beak. It's elemental, my dear Groovy. Let's go, kids. There's no time to lose. The mystery has been solved, but not the problem. We can't use the tricycle, and you have to arrive to school on time. Have you thought the same as me? By the skin of your teeth. Remember kids, if you want to arrive on time, you have to leave with time. You never know what can happen on the way.
No clues are needed to know that this mischief has been Phoebe's idea. Fill it into, my dear children. What a beautiful day to play soccer in the garden. Hey, Groovy, try to score a goal. <laughs> you have to aim better. What's wrong, kids? The ball is across the street. Children, no! You can't run so close to the road. It's very dangerous. I know, Phoebe, we have to cross the road to pick up the ball, but we need to follow some road safety rules first. Pops, help me explain it. First, look for a crosswalk. White stripes painted on the road surface connecting one side of the road with the other. It's also called zebra crossing because the lines look like zebra stripes. Second, wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. The traffic light is a luminous sign that indicates who has priority to pass. It has two parts, one for cars and one for pedestrians. You have to look for the one with puppets. Red means stop and green means go. So when the light is on, we can cross. Third, look both ways before crossing to be sure no cars are coming. Fourth, wait for the cars to stop completely. All right, ready to cross for the ball? Let's follow the rules of road safety. First, look for a crosswalk. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> that's it. No, Groovy, not yet. Second, we have to wait until the traffic light marks green for pedestrians. Green lights is on. Third step, look both sides to be sure no cars are coming. And lastly, wait for the cars to stop completely. Now we are ready to cross the road. Go for the ball! Mission accomplished. We have rescued the ball. Let's go home to continue with the game. We have to cross again. Remember what we've learned. What? The traffic light is broken. Now we can't cross. We need the cars to stop. What can we do, kids? Groovy, will you help us? What should Groovy transform into to cross the road? A baby bottle? A red stop sign? Or a spider? That's right, kids. Groovy should transform into a red stop sign to cross the road. Remember, red means stop. When cars see it, they're forced to stop. But always look both ways and never cross if cars are coming. Well done, kids. Let's keep playing. Hey, kids, what's Pop say? Oh, he's right. They've left the door open. Very good, Groovy. Avoid dangerous situations is the best road safety advice. Great. Good morning, kids. I brought you here to learn the colors all together. Phoebe, let's go over what you have learned at school. Groovy, pay attention. We have six paint buckets of different colors. Red, orange, yellow, green. <laughs> exactly, Groovy. You are green and yellow, too. Blue and pink. 
we also have six drawings of animals. Fox, frog, chicken, ladybug, flamingo, and shark, like baby shark. Animals are so cool. Do you know the color of each animal? Groovy, transform into a brush and help Phoebe paint the drawings with the right color. Hmm, red. Which of these animals are red? <laughs> exactly. The ladybug is red. Groovy, now orange. Hmm, what will it be? Yes, very good, Phoebe. The fox is orange. Yellow. Groovy, you try now. Which animal is yellow? No, no, Groovy. Flamingos aren't yellow. Kids, help him. <laughs> That's it. Chicks are yellow. It's Green's turn. <laughs> yes, Groovy, you are green. What other animal is also green? Yes, the frog. Blue. Like a baby shark, yes. There's only one color left. Which color is the flamingo? Exactly, pink. Very good, Groovy. Hmm. I think you know all the colors perfectly. Do you want to try with the fruits? Groovy, you now all by yourself. <laughs> with a little help, it's okay too. We have tangerine, strawberry, banana, blueberries, Bataya and Kiwi. What color is the tangerine? Exactly. Tangerines are orange. And the strawberries? Haha, <laughs> very good. They're red. And the banana. Yellow, that's right. And little blueberries? Aha, <laughs> blue. What a team! There's only one left. The Pattaya. Very good, kids. Pink. Great, kids. Last time. Red, like a ladybug or a strawberry. Orange, like the beautiful fox or the delicious tangerine. Yellow, like chicks or bananas. Green like a frog or the inside of a kiwi. Sure, and broccoli. Blue like the baby shark or the blueberries. And pink like the flamingo or the pataya. <laughs> and like pops. Learning is so fun. Hey kids, why so bored? Let's go out and play. We can learn to count. It's going to be fun. Okay, kids, let's learn to count. One. There is one, Groovy. And one, Phoebe. What else? One dog? That's it. Next, two. There are two. Exactly, flowers. One and two. Very good. Let's see. What's the next one? Three, perfect. One, two, three, that's it. Next number is four. Right there, there are four penguins. One, two, three, four, cool. Which one is next, kids? <laughs> exactly! Five! Five baby sharks! 
One, two, three, four, and five. Next number, six. Look to the sky. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Come on, Phoebe, you have to pick up seven ducks on time. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, <laughs> seven. To count to eight, I have an idea. Hey, Groovy, one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Let's count up to nine now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. <laughs> and ten. How much fun! Do you think you remember all the numbers? It's your time to count by yourselves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good! <laughs> Welcome to Groovy the Martian Costume Show. As judges, we have Miss Phoebe, Mr. Fluffy, Sir Honey. We can't wait to see what costumes you're going to surprise us with, Groovy. Ready? Oh, wow, Groovy. <laughs> what a cool lion. Let's see what score the judges have for you. Hmm, we have a three, a five, and a zero? Wow, honey comes stomping, Groovy. Let's continue with the second costume of the night. <laughs> Groovy, I think you made a mess with Toy Story characters. Let's see what our judges have to say. Hmm, Groovy, we didn't increase the score. Third and last chance. Do you have any super costume in mind? Wow, it's amazing! The judges love it! All of them! Grandma Shark, 
Grandpa Shark do 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 Grandpa Shark do 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 Grandpa Shark do 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 Grandpa Shark Hungry Sharks do 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 Hungry Sharks do 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 Hungry Sharks do 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 Hungry Sharks trying to say something? Oh yes, subscribe kids. Groovy the Martian, official channel.